Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. I'm in the 25th chapter of 2 Chronicles. Now, in that particular passage, there is a king of Judah by the name of Amaziah, who, who upon coming into the, um, the, the position as king, looks at the army that he has, and he says it's not strong enough in order to fight against the uh, other nations around. And so he hires 100,000 soldiers, mercenaries, from the northern kingdom of Israel. And, uh, and when he hires these particular soldiers, the Lord is displeased. God wanted him to trust God, not his army as he fights the battles of the Lord. And so Amaziah is in a dilemma. He's already paid a pretty hefty sum in order to hire these, and he wants to be a wise steward of the money that he has already put out. And so he's in a bit of a dilemma, but there is a prophet who comes to him and, he, and says to him, cut your losses. Go ahead and dismiss these particular mercenaries because the Lord is with you and he is wanting to deliver you himself, not have you put your trust in these particular men. And so Amaziah asked, but what about my money? What about the, the amount of money that I gave to these and is out now no longer in the treasury of my people? Shouldn't I be a good steward that way? And the prophet tells him the Lord's able to resupply that particular money. Now, the same thing is true for us. It isn't a justification, of course, for us to be poor stewards. It's, but, it is a, but it is a promise that the Lord is the one who will supply and will strengthen and will provide for you and for me. We need to be people who are wise stewards of what God has provided. But sometimes we make bad decisions, as Amaziah did. And when we do that, we just need to repent. We need to turn and, and express our, uh, our failure and our repentance to him. And he will supply and he will provide for us. I can't say that he's immediately going to supply for us, but he is going to supply. That's his nature. That's what he does. There are bad decisions that we make. We live in a very complex, um, uh, materialistic kind of world, and we're constantly being bombarded with, will you have enough to retire on? Will you have, have you got enough in savings? And, and the reality is that no matter how much we have in savings, something can take it away, whether it's inflation or whether it's cancer or whether it's uh, some car accident that causes us to be uh, debilitated. Uh, there are all kinds of things that can wipe out as much of a fortune as we might be able to, to, uh, to accumulate. The issue is, do we trust in our finances or do we trust in the Lord? And Amaziah was told here, you need to trust in the Lord. You need to recognize that he's the one who will supply for you. And he did in the very next passage in uh, 2 Chronicles 25. It says that he went up against the people of Edom and defeated them. And so this particular uh, trust that Amaziah was supposed to have was tested very soon. And the same thing will be true for you and me. If we are putting our trust in Christ, if we are giving to him as we should be, he will supply. There's the old line is, and it's exactly right, that you can't outgive God. In fact, one of the, one of the things that I do whenever I get paid is the first thing that I do is that I offer to the Lord my tithe. Now that's not a work of righteousness. It's simply an acknowledgement that everything that is in my name is really his. Does that mean that I handle all of my finances perfectly? No, I don't. But, but my trust 
And every time I, I get a paycheck that way, my trust is in him, and I acknowledge that. And I believe that's something that he has honored. But, um, but again, I'm not wealthy in any way, shape, manner, or form, but my trust is in the one who supplies, the one who owns the cattle on a thousand hills and the wealth of every mine. And that's where our trust should be, just as it should have been with him in the time of Amaziah. Father, we ask you to grant to us grace to be wise stewards. Give to us discernment. Help us to uh, repent when we, when we fail. But Father, we pray fa that, that you would give to each one of us the assurance of your guidance and of your provision and help us to acknowledge you in all of our ways. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.